Hi, my name is Dr. Heidi Deves. I'm the lead pharmacist for MCT2D, the Michigan Collaborative for Type 2 Diabetes. I'm also a clinical pharmacist at Domino Farms Family Medicine, and I'm also assistant professor at the University of Michigan College of Pharmacy. So when you bring your medication home, you put the box in the refrigerator until the time of use. When it's ready for you to inject, you extract one pen from the refrigerator and you leave the other pens in the refrigerator stored there until they are needed. When it's time for you to inject your medication, you can leave all the um, pens in the refrigerator until the time of your injection, but it's important to pull it out of the refrigerator at least 15 to 30 minutes ahead of time so it comes to room temperature because injecting a cold drug is not fun and it will be painful. Ozempic is a multi-dose pen that is dosed once a week. One thing you need to know is that you need to re uh, attach a pen needle each week in order to give your injection. So you'll receive a pack of six needles with your Ozempic pen. Prior to giving your Ozempic injection, you have to prime the pen and make sure it's ready for injection. So in order to do that, you're gonna remove your pen cap you're gonna take an alcohol swab and make sure that you apply alcohol to that rubber stopper. You're gonna grab your pen needle and attach by screwing on. Make sure it's tightly secure. You're gonna take off that outer cap. We're gonna be sure to remove the inner cap. You're gonna twist the dosing um, end of the pen till you see a line with the two dots. At this point, you're gonna invert your pen um, and the needle is exposed and you're gonna press that injection window and you should press and there should be drops of medication that come out the top of the needle. The other thing you wanna make sure is that your dosing window has gotten to zero. You can repeat this step up to six times and you wanna do this until you are sure that medications comes out the tip of the needle. If it does not, you do not want to use this pen and you're going to get another pen from the refrigerator. I do want to make one important reminder when it comes to priming your Ozempic pen. You should only prime a pen the first time you use it. If any of you are using insulin and you need to prime it after each time you put on a needle, that does not apply to the Ozempic pen. So just the first time you use the pen. So now we're gonna talk about dialing your dose. So again, this blue area down here, you're gonna to dial to your dose of, we'll say you're starting it at 0 0.25 milligrams. So once that you've seen that the dose is correct, we are gonna be ready to give your injection. Let's talk about preparing your site for your injection. I recommend to my patients to use the abdominal region for their injections. There are other sites that are available um, for use, but I encourage you to talk to your doctor, your pharmacist, or your nurse for which site is best for you. The reason I like the abdominal area is it offers the best site of absorption. So when we're dealing with the abdominal area, if you locate your belly button, you never wanna inject within two inches of the belly button. Anywhere away from that is fair game. So what you need to do is in the area that you're gonna give your injection, you're gonna uh, use an alcohol swab to properly cleanse the area and uh, disinfect. It's very important to let the alcohol dry. This ensures less pain and also proper aseptic technique want to rotate your injection sites. So what I tell my patients is to think of each side of their abdomen as a clock. And 
After each injection, whether it is day to day or week to week, you go from side to side, but then when you go back to that side, you pick a different number on the clock. This is to ensure that you never inject at the same point every single time and create scar tissue underneath that injection site. And you are going to give your injection in your abdominal area, remember not within two inches of your belly button. You're going to take your pen with that uh, dosing window pointed up so that you're able to see it and simply insert that needle into your skin. There's no need to pinch and you're going to press this white button and you're going to hold it until that dosing window shows zero. Once it shows zero, you're going to count to six. At the end of six, you will remove the pen from your belly. And then we need to remove this uh, pen needle. So we're gonna take that cap that I told you to save and now twisting in the opposite direction, we are gonna get rid of the cap and you should have a sharps container from your local pharmacy and you drop in the cap into the sharps container. For Ozempic, the pen can be stored at room temperature for up to 56 days. If you have medication left in the pen after that, it must be thrown away.